Hi guys, this is me Abhilasha, your favorite PRC mentor. I am back again with yet another episode of your favorite reading comprehension session, the Hindu reading comprehension, wherein we discuss one Hindu article every day, alternate days, we alternate with Aeon essays. Alright guys, if you can see me and hear me and you are able to view this, give me a yes or a no. Also, in the meantime guys, remember to use Abhi Cat Live to unlock all our free classes and to subscribe to our plus and iconic courses and get a 10% off. Guys, every day right now in our free classes, we are running a test series where which is called Practice Rush Hour. This is all free for you guys. So at 11 a.m. from 11 to 12, I will do a section test or a, a section test for you. Then at 1 p.m., the Pancho sir will do a quantitative aptitude test for you. And from 2.30 to 3.30, Saurabh Ranjan sir will be doing an LRDI test for you. This is free for everyone from Monday to Friday, guys. This will be rigorous practice for you every single day, Monday to Friday. Do make sure you're joining in every single day, guys. This will be an amazing, amazing testing situation. New batches, of course, 4th September, 8th September, and 8th September. Guys, I'm starting off with the beginner's batch for CAT 2022. Do join in for this batch. Uh, we will start with VRC on the 9th of September. Classes for VRC will happen on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Here is a plus subscription guys. You can buy a 6 month course, an 18 month course or a 24 month course depending on which cat you are targeting. Also you can buy your iconic subscriptions also because live mentoring for MBA aspirants is available in the iconic course. You have all the benefits of plus, one to one live doubt solving, one to one live concepts, mentorship and you can book these slots at your convenience. So again depending on which cat you are writing. Uh, you can take a 6 month course, a 12 month course or a 24 month course at different fee. Also remember if you use Abhicat Live then you will get a 10% off on the fee also. Guys this is just the right time to be buying your subscriptions or to extend or renew your subscription because the price is going to go up by 10% on the 16th of September. So if you wish to beat, beat the price hike then you should subscribe right away. See, if you subscribe right away, you get a 20% discount because 10% of the price hike plus you also get a 10% off on using my referral code Abhicat Live. So if you do use Abhicat Live, then 10% to wo ho gaya, jo fee hike se baj gaya aur 10% mere referral code se bhi mil jayega. So you get a 20% advantage in terms of fee. And the MBA 2021 mock test marathon is here, two full length CAT mocks. Three sectionals, two full length OMET mocks and detailed video analysis is available for all mocks and sectional tests guys. Do make sure you're joining in. Alright, so that's me Abhilasha with 21 years of mentorship available here on Anacap. Okay, arms and the women on gender parity in the army. Women have been fighting a tough and uphill battle for equal opportunities in the Indian army. In a landmark judgment in February 2020, the Supreme Court asked the government to abide by its own policy and grant permanent commission to women in the short service commission and give them command postings in all services other than combat. In the Secretary Ministry of Defense versus Babita Punia and others, the top court pointed out that women had played a significant role in the army since their induction in 1992 and extending permanent commission to women SSC officers is a step forward in recognizing and realizing the right of women to equality of opportunity in the army. Despite the stringent verdict, systemic issues remain in the army and women have gone back to court to sort out the issues. Another step towards ensuring that women opportunity as laid down by the constitution has been taken on Wednesday when the court passed an interim order allowing women to appear for the National Defense Academy entrance exam on September 5. Till now, women could join the army through the Indian Military Academy and the Officers Training Academy. The directive allows girls who clear the exam to study at the NDA and then at the IMA or Naval or Air Force Academies and become commissioned officers. The directive is subject to further orders from the court and the case has been posted for hearing again on September 8. When additional Solicitor General Aishwarya Bharti appearing for the government and the Indian Army told the court that it was a policy decision not to allow women to take the NDA exam, the bench of Justices Sanjay Kishan Kaul and Rishikesh Roy said it was based on gender discrimination directing the center and the army to take a constructive view. The bench pointed out that closing a route of entry for women to join the army was discriminatory. 
The ruling came on a writ petition filed by Kush Kalra seeking permission for women to sit for the NDA entrance exams. Mr. Kalra argued that Articles 14, 15, 16 and 19 of the Constitution, which upheld the values of equality and allow equal non-discriminatory opportunities at work, were being violated by denying eligible women the opportunity. Though the legal route has helped overcome some of the hurdles, it will be a long haul before gender parity is fully achieved in the army. In that context, the Prime Minister's Independence Day announcement that girls will be granted admission in the Senate schools is a welcome move towards preparing them for an equal role and life in the military. Which of the following is the main idea of the passage? Gender parity in the army has picked up pace owing to some major intervention by the government. Commanding role in the armed forces must be reserved for men. Gender equality in the army does nothing in the grand scheme of things for enhancing women's rights. Primarily aided by the judiciary, gender parity in the army is currently happening at a slow pace. So, of course, A is incorrect, B is incorrect, C is incorrect. The correct answer will be D, guys. All right. Let's look at the next one. Which of the following in the passage is the passage most favorable towards for the efforts towards gender parity in the army? The Prime Minister of India, the Chief Justice of India, the Supreme Court of India or the Government of India? So clearly guys, in this the author is asking you who does the author appreciate or who, the, who does the author or the passage appreciate most in their efforts towards gender parity in the army? Now, clearly, it is the Supreme Court of India which is doing the maximum for allowing gender parity in the army and therefore, C has to be the correct answer. Alright, it was a policy decision not to allow women to take the NDA exam. Prime Minister's Independence Day announcement that girls will be granted admission in the Senate schools is a welcome move. So, if I ask why and I ask why was it a policy decision to uh, not to allow women, then B cannot be the correct answer to this. But when I ask why was Prime Minister's Independence Day announcement that girls will be granted admission a welcome move, then yes, because it was a policy decision not to allow women to take the NDA entrance exams. Will that be the correct answer? No. If I ask why A and B, will I get an answer as something common? No, I will not. And therefore, guys, here the correct answer will be D, that both A and B are unrelated. Alright, what is the meaning of hurdle? Is it assistance? Is it to accentuate? Is it an impediment or is it catalyst? Clearly, the correct meaning for hurdle is impediment, not catalyst. Catalyst is something that accelerates the speed, so that cannot be the correct answer. Accentuate means to emphasize something, so clearly that is not the correct answer also. And assist, of course, means help, which is the opposite of impediment or hurdle. So the correct answer will be impediment or obstacle or hurdle as the correct meaning. All right. What is the meaning of an uphill battle? An uphill battle is not a mountain warfare. It is clearly not a naval warfare or a space battle. It is a strenuous struggle, guys, and that's the correct answer. Very good. All right. Let's look at these words. Uphill, of course, is difficult. Landmark is important something that has been never done so important abide is to agree induction is to make join make someone join something stringent is strict interim is hmm, in the middle or in the intervening period naval of course is related to the navy Commissioned, of course, is uh, joined a job. Directive, of course, is order. Discrimination is bias. Constructive is useful. Root is path. Violated is broken. Hurdle, like we said, is an impediment. And parity, of course, is equality. So here are all the words that we are looking at today. Guys, of course, this is your home assignment. Do remember to learn all these words up. So learn, write them down in your notebook, identify synonyms, antonyms, and the roots of these words so that you can understand them better. Okay. All right, guys, with that, we come to the end of today's session. The sessions are very simple. Of course, now you know. That critical reasoning batch for CAT 21 is going on at 8 a.m. 
VRC for CAT 2022 is going on at 8 a.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays. So according to the days, you can join in. The Hindu and Aeon RC happens at 9 a.m. The Rush Hour practice session happens at 11 a.m. And the winner's practice course happens at 5.45. So do join in, guys, for the 5.45 session uh, today where we will be doing some para-based questions. All right, with that, we come to the end of today's session. Thank you so much. I hope you have a nice day. Remember to hit like, share, subscribe, and the bell icon. And also to use Abhicat Live to unlock and subscribe all your free courses and the iconic and plus courses. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day.